About a month ago when we lost to the Chiefs, I told y'all we were in hell. This is far worse than hell. The, the, the Saints are in the worst possible position for a team to be in. And if no matter how much I said this a few weeks ago, it cannot be overstated now. It, it, it does not get worse than this. We just lost to the Panthers, who aren't even a real NFL team. We're 2-7. and seven. We have not won a game since September 15th. Today is November 3rd. That was 49 days ago. And it's going to be at least another seven days before we win a game. We're the Falcons, so we're not going to win. There's... This team's out of excuses. There's nothing left for you to say. You know, the, the Chiefs game... You know, let's start off how the losing streak started, okay? You lose to the Eagles and Falcons. Close games. The team probably still felt pretty good where they were at. I still felt pretty decent about where we were at. Chiefs game... Everything goes terrible, but you lost your quarterback. Just find a way to survive the next few weeks. You don't do that at all. You go 0 and 2, but then you get most of your players back for the Chargers game. Division's only two games back. You're like, okay, you know, we got a lot of players back. Score eight points. This game, you're playing Bryce Young. Bryce Young, who the, the Panthers are not a real NFL team. And now we are last in the division. We we probably have a top three draft pick now, which I know a lot of you guys are going to say. A lot of you guys probably want us to lose this game, and I understand that winning probably doesn't do much for us because you probably aren't going anywhere anyway. I I can't root for us to lose. And losing, like, it, it's probably good in the long run that we're going to get a good draft pick finally, but this is completely embarrassing, and I'm ashamed to be a Saints fan right now. This is fucking pathetic. There is absolutely no justifying if you're Mickey Loomis, if you're Dennis Allen. This game was the game that if you are even a top 30 NFL team, you win this game. And you're out of excuses. I know Chris Olave had that terrible freak accident injury. And prayers to Chris Olave, by the way. That's a ter- it's terrible that that's happened to him. I really, really hope he's okay. But you have, you have a quarterback finally back. That was the final excuse left on to why you were losing is because you didn't have Derek Carr. And you finally have a serviceable enough quarterback, and you still lose to the Panthers. Bryce Young. Dennis Allen's calling card is defense. Bryce Young just fucking went on a game-winning drive against us. And then Derek Carr couldn't do it himself. And there's so many things to point to why we lost this game. I don't fucking care about the specific game anymore. We're 2-7. and seven. We're lost seven straight games. The last time this has happened, 2005. And actually, I don't know if we even lost seven straight in 2005. You may have to go back further. And that was before Hurricane Katrina. That was before Drew Brees and Sean Payton entered the building. If if Dennis Allen is still in this building on Monday or Tuesday, if if it's after Tuesday, after the trade, I believe the trade deadline is on Tuesday, and Dennis Allen is still the coach and the Saints have made zero moves to trade people, I actually, for the first time ever, may voluntarily not watch a Saints game. And it's week, It's going to be week 10. And I may already just be done. I, and I know I said I was never going to make a video again unless Dennis Allen was fired. That was my plan. But this was so bad that I had to make a video on this. There is This is inexcusable. We are officially the biggest laughing stock in the NFL. We may not be the worst team in the NFL, but we're the biggest laughing stock for sure when you consider the fact that we started 2-0 and and had 90-something points scored the first two weeks and we're getting Super Bowl talk. And the media was glazing us. We're, we're, we, we're now in, in position for a top five draft pick for sure. At this point, you have to tank. I know we're not going to even if we fired Dennis Allen, but you, here's what we've got to do. Mickey Loomis has to go. I don't think he's going to get fired probably to after the season, but... Mickey Loomis and Dennis Allen should both go now. And Darren Rizzi should be the interim head coach just because of the fact he's been here the longest. And I think he actually is a pretty good leader. Even though he's our special teams coordinator, I still feel like he can get some decent leadership and hype our guys up to our young guys to go out there and compete. Which, I mean, if you have an interim head coach and you're practically, your season's already over, it's all you can ask for. I don't think Clint Kubiak's ready to be a head coach yet. He isn't, he's a lot younger. He's not even really a big leader type of guy. So I think you make Darren Rizzi interim head coach and you just... Trade who you can. And I think you start off with trading Trace Young for sure. You're not going to get much out of Trace Young. Trade him somewhere to the Lions or the Bengals, someone who could use a pass rusher. And I think the Kansas City Chiefs said they want Marshawn Lattimore. Go get, go let Marshawn Lattimore go to the Chiefs. Fuck it. Go let him go to the Chiefs. Um, 
He's a great player, and I hate to see him go. It's going to be heartbreaking to see the 2017 draft class finally break up, but you have to blow up absolutely everything you can. Now, there are some draft – not some draft – some contracts that are untradeable because of the terrorism of Mickey Loomis and what he's done to us by moving the can down the road in terms of cap space over and over and over again, and now we're stuck with all these old players that we can't really move. Chase Young is movable. Marshawn Lattimore is movable, I believe. So see if, if you can get any, any decent value out of them. Start picking up draft picks. And you have to fire Dennis Allen. This, there's absolutely no way he stays after this. His calling card is defense, and he let Bryce Young get on the field for the win. This may be the last Saints video I'll make for a while. Just because I don't want to make videos on this shit team. And the only reason I did today is because this was so bad. And this is a historical rock bottom for this franchise that we have to speak on this. Because this is terrible. And, you know, even worse, we're currently injured four of our top five corners. We're down our top four wide receivers. And even our quarterback coming back couldn't save this. Alvin Kamara is the only reason I even would even consider watching Saints games at this point. Because he just had one of the best games of his career. I think he may have had over 200 yards total. And we still lost. So, yeah. I don't know what else there is to say. Fire everybody, blow up the fucking, the whole facility. It, it, anyone in the front office, change the entire front office, the entire coaching staff, I don't care. You cannot keep doing this. This is the definition of insanity, and it's been this way for four years, or at least three years for sure. I can understand 2021, you know, we were almost a playoff team, and we were really injured. I understand sticking with it after that. But after 2022, the, the biggest fuck up this team made was deciding to, to go all in with the current roster we had in 2022 and signing Derek Carr. That was the worst thing they could have done. And I said that when we signed Derek Carr back in March of 2023, and I was called a hater, and no one wanted to believe me. I hate being right, and I still will never root for us to lose. I do not want this to happen, but this is where we're at now. You can't keep continuing with this. There's a reason Dennis Allen's record is like 26 and 54 or something like that. There's a reason for that. Fire everybody. I ha I I'm out of things to say. This may be my last video for a while. Thank you for for watching these if you have, but I'm done and I can't keep doing this. So wake me up when Dennis Allen gets fired. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys when Dennis Allen's fired, which is hopefully soon.